What's going on, Dream Squad? Welcome back to Dream Rips. It's your host, Matt, and it's been a minute since I've been able to crack open into some product on my own to create some content for you guys. Most of you have been showing your support on the live streams, the dream streams lately. I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you're new to the channel and this is the first time you're coming across my content, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel because I do giveaways, not only in this video, but in previous videos. I have an upcoming 500 subscriber giveaway video. Check that out in the link in the is always in the description for all the videos that are hosting major giveaways as well as some of the amazing uh, cards that I open and give away. On the live stream schedule, giving away cards all the time, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturday nights. And for lucky Patreon members, as a reminder, we will be cracking open into 2015-2016 hobby at the end of the month. So by the time this video comes out, we'll only have a few days left. Anyone who is a Patreon member will get uh, randomized and selected for one random team. Uh, no teams will be off, but 15-16 NBA hoops, so I look forward to breaking that. Um, every Patreon member gets a free team well at least as if you get picked right and uh, so today's video is going to be all about optic and as you know when I first started my channel I did come across lots of optic at my local target the 2019 20 version this is 1718 and I actually opened up one of these mega boxes about a week or two ago I believe I did it on the live stream and here's some of the cards I want to showcase and I'm actually really a fan of optic in and now that I'm seeing older cards as well, I really, even though Mosaic, most of you guys know I've been cracking a ton of Mosaic. Mosaic has to be the most uh, popular product that I've cracked um, since it's been out. And uh, I've still got a ton more behind these boxes. I have about another 10 to 15 more blasters. I've got about another 10 to 12 silos to the right of me, and I've hit tons of great cards. But what I will say is I am a fan of Optic and Mosaic. Nothing against Prism, but I do think Prism, uh, I don't like the designs of Prism. I really don't. Um, but Optic is great. So anyways, I opened up a Mega Box about a week or two ago on the live stream, and I hit some of these were the notable hits. So we had the Scotty Pippen. Obviously, his stock is up because of the last dance. It may have teetered off and come down a little bit, but it'll come back around. Either way, cool little Scotty Pippen there. Then I have a Donovan Mitchell rookie card. I hit Alonzo Ball. This is one of the main reasons why I got a 1718 product is because I'm looking for Alonzo Ball. Now, some of you are saying, well, why aren't you looking for Tatum? Well, duh. Um, there he is. So here's one of his base rookies, the white and blue, and the yellow and blue out of the one box. So I'm not a fan of, of Tatum in terms of, like, I'm not really following him. But I do know stock in him has grown tremendously. So there's a good chance I'm going to hold on to uh, some Tatum. I'm, I'm not going to pass him up, especially if he's a good stock. And he's the type of player where... Um, I'll wait for him to make a deep run into the playoffs and sell these cards off um, at the highest price. Um, and if he wins a championship, I mean, if he has a chance of winning a championship, definitely going to list these right away. If he doesn't, then I'll hold on to him for a while and try to sell at max value. Needless to say, this mega box here, I believe only cost me 80 bucks, 70 to 80 bucks. So really cheap. Uh, 17, 18 product is not bad. And um, you all know, my Dream Squad members know, that Lonzo is someone that I'm looking at as an undervalued, underrated rookie or player in the league. And I continue, I will see him, you will see him in a, a Hall of Fame uh, jacket at some point. I think he's the type of player that's going to shock a lot of people. If given the right opportunity, as long as he doesn't get snubbed by coaches or teams and keeps the drama away from his dad, I think he's going to develop in a really, really good player over time. Uh, will he be a CP3? Probably not, but he'll play really, really good. Anyways, that's hold on for another debate. So what I want to do is talk about this, today's video. And today's video, we are starting the Optic 1718 series. I've got three boxes here. I've got a fast break exclusive. I have a mega box and I have the, I believe this is a hobby box. And uh, I'm still trying to learn these boxes and where they're written at. So I do apologize uh, in advance. And I know most of you are going to correct me in the base or in the comments and that's okay. Um, but ultimately, uh, let's see, retail exclusive. So this is a retail box. So um, either way, I'm looking for Lonzo Balls, 
but obviously any of other the big hits that are out there. Um, and so today's the first series. We're going to rip into some packs right away. And I actually want to start off with the exclusive fast break rated rookies signatures. Um, so this is the box I'm going to break into right now. This looks like a meaty box, 18 packs, five cards per pack. So that is 50 something, 50, uh, 65 cards. Yeah. So either way, lots of cards going on here actually more than that um, 80 cards total it looks like let's see i can't do my math right but uh, let's take a look at the back or the side let's see if you can if i can zoom in uh, we're looking for number to 193 orange purple red blue and black Ooh, my stomach is growling we're looking for fast break pink black number to one retro ser series hollows and on average there's one autograph on average so all right, let's crack into it. So this is going to be episode one. These other two boxes we're going to save for another time. We'll slide those here off to the side. Hopefully they don't make a mess. I am going to showcase my the, the cards that I'm looking for here on the back while we go through so we have some inspiration. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. We're definitely going to put the Lonzo Ball and the Jason Tatum up as inspiration. Hopefully we can hit more of these two fine gentlemen. And as I get this set back up into this light and make sure it's not too much of a glare for you all. And uh, there we go. There's a mix in between. Okay, there we go. So let me get my handy dandy box cutter and let's break open this thing. And as you know, and this is the first time, this is also my first look at the fast break box. Um, as well as the retail box will open up in the next video of the series. So I'm really excited to be back into the hobby collecting again. Uh, most of you may or may not know, and I'll share another little piece of history with me in the game of basketball. And this will be a nice trivia piece for all my hardcore Dream Squad members to follow along. Is I actually was so angry on how, not only how the Rockets played, but how the officiating went in uh, for the last couple years with the Warriors and Rockets series on the Western Conference Finals that I decided to boycott the NBA. And uh, just a personal boycott because I was over it. Um, not only were the Rockets, uh, you know, poop in the bed, but I do believe, and some argue with me to this day, uh, which we'll save for another video, that the obviously the Rockets blew it, but at the same time, I think there was a huge momentum shift. Real basketball players know that there is a thing, so-called thing, such as momentum. But long story short, I took a hiatus from watching basketball this last year before all this started to happen. And I was just like, I'm done with it. I don't need to be a fan. I'm over it. The Rockets have upset me. The league has upset me because of the officiating. I'm done. And I did. I didn't watch any games for like almost a year and a half. Um, but with everything that's been going on, one, getting back into card collecting, mostly for my son, because I want him to enjoy collecting and getting into sports as well. He's just turned five. It kind of reinvigorated my love of the game by collecting cards. Now the rush has come back, pulling hit big rookies, big names. Now I'm finding myself back into the normal mix of what I used to do, which is watch basketball all the time, follow the big rookies, you know, but I wasn't collecting cards. I was just doing it as a fan, right? I always knew statistics. I knew who was the up and comers. I had an eye for things. Long story short, I'm back. I love the sport. I've always loved basketball. Basketball is my favorite sport of all time. And I'm super glad to be collecting again. So anyways, here's the pack. Here's what this one looks like. We have Giannis here on the front, five trading cards. We have the download the digital packs. If you want to, it's Optic 18 PK. If anybody looks it looks for it and wants it on the back here let's see if there's uh, any better reading on what we're trying to get i know some people like this also there's a 200 card set including 150 base and 50 base rookies so that'll be fun to look at and it looks like we're looking for fast break signatures gold black number to 10. so the gold and black number to 10 are going to be some of the ones we want to hit but we got a lot of packs here and a lot of cards, so let's get this thing rolling. And unless I hit a massive hit, we're not going to sleeve right now. We're going to sleeve at the end. And uh, But unless it's a huge hit, we'll pass on it. I don't know the setup here, but I think it starts with a rookie in the front. 
So right out the gates, <clears throat> excuse me, we got Lori Markanen right out the gates. Then look at that right away. So that that's something I definitely am going to sleeve up. That's the championship is here, Stephen Curry. Um, and a disco, I believe. This is the disco prism. I could be wrong, but look at that. That's just a... I love admiring the cards. So if you're someone who doesn't like admiring the cards, then go ahead and speed up. Double tap with your thumb on the right side of this video, and it'll speed it up. But, yeah, this... Oh, man. And what a hit. Uh, the question is... This is number two, right? He's holding up the two, so I'm assuming this is number two. I think so. Yeah, because this is with Katie. So yeah, this was number two. Either way, that's a really nice card. So we definitely got to get that sleeved up. And let's move on to the rest. We have an all-star inserts of John Wall. We have the DeMontis Sabonis base and a Damari Carroll base. So first pack fire right out the gate. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think the video deserves a like after pulling that that hot Stephen Curry right out the gates. Ooh, we got some color in this one. I haven't seen any of these cards, like big cards. So we got George Hill. We've got our TJ Leaf in the blue and white. Uh, looks like we've got something here. It is a New Orleans. It's not, okay, DeMarcus Cousins, but it's not the, uh, it's not this year, right? That would have been cool. Um, Mike Conley base and a Derrick Rose base. So let's get the DeMarcus Cousins sleeved up. It is numbered to 155, so this is one of those cards that is numbered. It's not of a player that I'm a fan of, to be really honest. I do not like DeMarcus Cousin, but 155, let's see, because I want to learn what I'm, what I'm ripping into. Let's see. It doesn't say, actually, but this looks like it's a purple disco. Purple Disco to 155. Here, I'll get you guys in there. I'm looking at it off camera. 15, too. So 15 of 155. I am not seeing it on the back here, so I'm not sure if it's a misprint on the box. Yep, guys, sorry. You can fast forward through this part. Double tap on the right-hand side. I really want to make sure I, I get these down. Well, either way, um, it is a short print of DeMarcus Cousin, 15 of 155. Uh, so, cool. Hey, two packs in, and in my eyes, two bangers. Even though I'm not a fan of the DeMarcus Cousin, I think there's fire in all these, to be honest. Um, we're hitting another one. we got Nikola Vucevic. We've got our Juwan Evans. Then we're going to hit a De'Aaron Fox Disco Rated Rookie. That's another big hit. We got Jimmy Butler and Avery Badley. Hey, so far, right now, guys, this is a huge draft class, undervalued 17-18. It's non-numbered, but this is what we're looking for. De'Aaron Fox. He's another person in this draft class that we're collecting. Uh, well, not like not someone I'm following and collecting, but definitely a hit top rookie from the class hope hope to see him get some some good success in the future on a good team whether it's with the kings or someone else i think he's a great player we got Pau gasol we're hitting a retro S silver sons of paul westfall right back to back with glenn rice in the heat retro series this is sexy i don't know about you guys dennis schroeder darren collinson nothing too fancy to go about Look at this retro series. I'm digging the retro series. Now, non-numbered. They are prisms. Both of them are prisms. This one looks like a, just like the base prism. Actually, this is not the prism. The Glen Rice is not the prism, but the Paul Westfall is a silver prism. So definitely got to get him sleeved up. Got to get the silver sleeved up. And again, at any point, guys, if you think I'm taking forever admiring these cards and, and you want to see me rip fast, super fast, then uh, just just fast forward by double tapping on the right side of the screen or speeding up the, the replay speed. Um, I'm someone who likes to enjoy ripping and enjoying the cards. And, I, and this is one of the reasons why I like Optic. I really love these designs. So we got another rated rookie on the front. 
We got uh, finally maybe one without something special. Oh, I'm not going to lie. The champ is here. Robert Ory is huge in my book. Um, it sucks that it's this is the Laker version, but I do like Robert Ory. Um, we'll put him away because he is a Hall of Famer. Got plenty of rings on his fingers with multiple teams, especially the Rockets. And, uh, yeah, I'll take it. It's nothing special, not a prism. That's okay. All right, another rated rookie. We got Justin Jackson. Not a bad rookie to get on the front. Still has a lot of room to grow. We've got our Rudy Gay. We hit another disco of Rodney Hood, which it's not numbered, so it's nothing too crazy. J.R. Smith and Jamal Crawford. So first pack that didn't really, other than the disco there, didn't really have fire. It is of Rodney Hood, which is a mediocre player, nothing crazy. we got a John Collins. We've got a Joel Embiid. We hit the Swish Thinking Kyle Lowry, who used to be a Rocket. Um, Non-numbered, non, -numbered, non non prism uh, Stanley Johnson and Teron Prince okay all right getting down with the first half of the box we've got Dwayne Bacon we've got our DeMar DeRozan on the Raptors before he got traded then we're gonna hit a all clear off for Larry Nance jr. Um, that's actually a really look good looking card Pat Beverly which I was mad. Ooh, Dwight Howard. He's played for so many teams, it's crazy. But Pat Beverly was someone I really liked on the Rockets. Wish we would have kept him. Um, enjoyed his tenacity. It's a non-prism. All clear for takeoff. Larry Nance Jr., 17-18. I do not believe this is a a rookie card. Um, normally it would say rookie on it, but I'm going to sleeve him up anyways because he is in a Laker uniform. Uh, don't consider it a hit, but I will sleeve him up right now. Okay, halfway through. Again, if you're new to the channel, you've just found me, go ahead and watch all the previous 100 videos I've already uploaded in a matter of two months. And uh, we got a Terrence Ferguson here for our rookie on the front with some print lines. We'll try to clear those off later. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let's see, can we hit some, oh, please be Kobe, because this would be, the, this is the, nope, not Kobe. I know there's some Kobe's in this product as well too, and I'm a huge Kobe fan. It is a Laker though, Brooke Lopez followed by Tobias Harris and a Willie Hernan Gomez. So I'll try and do my best to say their names, but I do butcher them. Um, it is a Brook Lopez prism disco, but it's Brook Lopez, nothing crazy. I have pulled, uh, I wish I had it, Lo I, well actually I do, I have it right here. Give me a second. Nope, that's not it. Oh, nope, I thought I had it local, but I don't. There we go, here it is. So. I picked up a few of these, purchased these. Um, these are 2019-20 Prism with the Disco Kobe Bryant's. So I'd love to hit some older 1718 Kobe Bryant's to add to my collection, but I had to purchase those off of eBay. Either way, take me some Kobe too. Terrence Ross, Damian, uh, Damian Dotson, followed by a Retro Series Gary Payton insert, which I like Gary Payton. Um, I grew up watching him, you know, play in the Western Conference Finals. So, mm, does, is it a card that I keep? Is it a card that I PC? I don't know yet. Gordon Hayward and again, another Brooke Lopez, this time the base version. Okay, I think that was the last pack of that side. Now we're going into halfway mark. LaMarcus Aldridge, I believe this is his first year as a Spur. Can't remember completely. We've got our Justin Patton. There we go. That's the guy I want to look for. Yes. Yes. Let's admire that. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Number five. Whew, man. I love pulling his cards. And you all know that are following my channel. This is the this is the gentleman that is the greatest player, greatest to ever walk the earth on basketball. He's the GOAT in my eyes. You don't agree with me? That's okay. Let me know in the description down below. But I'll let you know right now, Kobe Bryant, this is one of the main reasons why I love basketball and he's done so much, you know, he's done so much for me. I've got another video coming out displaying all my Kobe cards that I've collected, pulled, as well as um, for another channel, Kobe cards. If you haven't followed out Kobe cards, he does some really good stuff. We got the Kyrie Irving and the Malcolm Brogdon. Um, and I want to be able to provide a video for him to showcase on his channel. 
what Kobe means to me. I already did a podcast. Uh, if you want the link, let me know in the comments, and I'll provide it in the description. We got Yusuf Nurik. We've got Simi Ojeli. We've got a Gordon Hayward disco, a Emmanuel Moutier, and a Tim Hardaway Jr. So far, the I think I paid 200 bucks for this box, though. I'm not gonna lie. This fast break exclusive, I think I paid 180. So it wasn't cheap, I'll tell you that. But it's it's come out with fire right now, so I definitely recommend it. Gortat. We've got an All-Stars Disco of Kyle Lowry on the Raptors. Cool looking card, but nothing too big, big and popular. We do have the All-Stars Tim Duncan as the insert. Ryan Anderson and a Jeremy Lin. That Timmy D might be something nice. Oh, here we go. Right out the gates. This pack, let's get it going. Donovan Mitchell, and especially in the white and blue. I hear the white and blues are more rare than the red, red, red and yellow. So there we go. Let's see if this pack has some more fire here. It's got some other red. It's a Phoenix Suns of Devin Booker. Not bad. And I think this one's numbered. Larry Nance, followed by Ooh, LeBron James. Man, I'm, I'm moving fast. I'm sorry, guys. I, I Let me get the Larry Nance out of the way. Let me see if this Devin Booker. It is numbered to 85. There we go. 3 of 85. I like Darren Booker. Darren Booker. Or Darren. Jeez, guys. You guys are going to tear me up. Devin Booker. Devin Booker is definitely a player I keep an eye on. I think he's got massive potential and upside on the right team. Not necessarily the Suns. The Suns need a lot of help and a lot of work. But a nice hit there. 3 of 85. Devin Booker. What a card. And, I mean, just look at the optic. It just looks... Mm. Disco-y. Looks so good. And, of course, we can't pass up the king, right? He's the king. He's just not the goat. Two different things, right? He is LeBron James. It is his base optic, which is a good card to hit no matter what. Anything, because he is like the next Kobe, like the next Jordan. So all of his cards, no matter what year and what product, are always good cards to hit. We hit a Thomas Bryant, the wrong Bryant for the Laker, but it is a rookie. Bradley Beal. Minnesota Timberwolves of Jeff Teague, just a disco, nothing crazy. Followed by Kristaps Porzingis and a Victor Oladipo. Two solid players, two solid players. Um, but too bad, Kristaps Porzingis, not a rookie year. That's a good looking card, either way. Not special yet, he hasn't done anything special, so. I don't need to keep all those little base cards. All right, we're getting down to the final three packs. We got DJ Wilson, adding some more rookies to the mix. Enos Cantor. We're going to get an OKC All Stars of Russie, a Westbrook, Russell Westbrook, Brody. Um, just an insert, not, not a prism. Rondé Hollis and Mario Chalmers. So, base stack is getting pretty big here. All right, we're rounding off the last two packs. And I have no clue the value of any of these cards right now. Um, oh, we got something orange in here. That's nice. Oh, and maybe an auto. Yep, okay. So let's save this stack. Let's, la let's save that stack for last. We've got some special stuff in that pack. So let's, uh, let's wait. Or at least there was a backwards card and something orange in there. So let's save it for last. Um, but, yeah, let me know. Like, I'm, I'm going to look up my own prices afterwards, but I would assume a lot of these cards are going for good pricing. Did I make the value back on this box? Don't know. Maybe I have to do a separate video of all the major hits and maybe some of the other inserts that I overlooked that could still be potential money to see if I got the value back from what I paid. So, Buddy Healed, Bam Adebayo, so not a bad rookie to hit, or a good, oh, two good, two back-to-back -back rookies. And we'll get rid of these Andre Drummonds and Bimbray. So two back-to-back -back rookies. Bam is actually a solid rookie um, from this class. Solid, not like great, but solid. Um, but Tony Bradley is a disco, non-numbered, and it's a rookie. So you always got to sleeve him up. I don't think he's in the league anymore, but we'll sleeve him up. All right, last pack. We got some. We got some fire in here. So let's see if I can pull these last two first. Okay. And then we'll try to slow roll the end here. Kevin Love. Jabari Parker. If he can just stay healthy. And you know that surgery mark right here, if you can see it from his knee surgery. I got similar marks because I had ACL surgery. 
Um, let's pull, okay, the next card is okay. The next card is our rated rookie, Jordan Bell, that we saw in the beginning. Decent rookie. Let's go to the back. It's a, oh, B LeBron. B LeBron. Nope. Oh, even better. Even better. That's a D Wade. Number to 193. 128 of 193. Let's go, D Wade, with the orange disco, if that's what this is called. I could be completely wrong, and you guys are butchering me in the chat. Man, but it's a D Wade, Hall of Famer nonetheless. Too bad it's not LeBron. That would have been really dope. 128 of 193. So short print, only 193 of those made. Awesome. Okay, now let's get on to the one autograph. So we got the one autograph to go with it. Let's, uh, I'm going to try to. Flip it without seeing it. Okay. Okay, I think I did a good job. All right, we're gonna slow roll the top. I've never seen these cards before, so I have no clue. Okay. Um, fast break of fat, fought, fat lever. It's a sticker auto, never heard of this guy. And it is a non-numbered, but it looks like a Fast break signatures of a um, of a veteran because this guy does not look like someone that's in a league right now. So, all right, we'll get him sleeved up either way. There you have it. This is the fast break optic exclusive rated rookies and signatures. There's our one auto came in the second to last pack of fat lever lever. But let's go ahead and go through the major hits, the, the big hits that I think um, that we hit. Obviously, the autograph. Definitely, let me put it, yeah, definitely the Dwayne Wade's numbered. So here are some of the good rookies, Bam Adebayo. Then we have, obviously, LeBron James' base is always going to be good. We've got more Devin Booker, which is a veteran numbered. We'll put it off the side. Solid hit rookie hit here we already have a Devin uh a Donovan Mitchell we got another one I think the other one was a red and, yeah the other one was a red uh yellow red and yellow this one's the white so we got the version and you always know anytime we hit this gentleman here it's a win hashtag Kobe Bryant goat down in the bottom if you believe he's the goat then obviously to pair him up with a Robert Ori which is he got five rings as well and uh so we'll put him off to the side then we've got our Paul West Hall was just a silver prism of a retro series, so it must be a little bit nice. Don't need I'm gonna don't know where to put that one. Darren Fox, amazing rated rookie of our disco. So another great hit. Another numbered card to Marcus Cousin to 155. So purple. We'll have to see which one that one is. And then of course hitting a Steph Curry, the champ is here. Um, Non-numbered, but Another good disco. So we will put him right there. So there you have it. Those are the hits of the night. Thank you, because it's late here where I'm at. So thank you for sticking around. I appreciate you guys uh, sticking around. Let's do a giveaway. Um, we will do the, uh, let's see. I'm gonna do something special. Um, Let's do the Paul West Hall because let's do, we're gonna, you gotta pick the card, remember? So here's one one of the cards. And I'll pick two more to put up for grabs. We'll do, I'm not gonna do nothing great. We'll do the All Stars Lowry. And let's do a decent rookie, right? Let's do a decent rookie. Let me find a decent rookie for us to put up. Like I said, decent. I don't want to give you guys something. I think Jordan Bell might be a good spot. What do you guys think? Well, you're not here, so you won't know. So let's put the Jordan Bell up for grabs, the base Jordan Bell. All right, there you have it. So because we're doing it, let's go ahead and get these sleeved now. And here are the three cards you have a chance to win. In order to win these three cards, one, you need to be a subscriber, two, like this video, three, leave a comment down below and let me know which card you would like to receive. We have the Jordan Bell Base Rookie, we have the All-Stars Disco of Kyle Lowry, and we have the Paul West 
Westfall Retro Series Silver. Uh, definitely retro here. So pretty cool looking cards here. Thank you for sticking around for 30 minutes of your time. You guys are awesome. Again, friendly reminders. I'm on Instagram at NBA Dream Rips. Make sure you give me a follow over there. We've got tons of content, tons of breaks on my separate uh, account, Dream Breaks. If you want to check that out, you can. And always a reminder, every Patreon member will get a chance to win one team out of this break at the end of the month. So if you're not a Patreon member, check out the link down below. Go check out my uh, great ways to support my channel, my journey on growing as a basketball collector. And uh, yeah, appreciate your time being here. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.